<coughs> yes um you can see that uh, agriculture is booming this side uh, if you think we are starving to death or we depend in uh, you know hypermarkets uh, the like of shop rights uh okay foods uh, vermin brooks uh, we, we don't do that uh, we we depend on ourselves uh, we produce our own foods as you can see these uh beans um the traditional beans of course uh we don't have these um uh, uh what uh, this this uh gmo or genetic motivated uh, you know seeds or foods uh, we do produce our own that is uh, naturally healthy foods that, that we consume as you can see although it is a drought this year but we managed to uh, try our best to get some uh, mahangu uh, if you can see uh, there's there's some uh, uh, seeds on on this uh, mahangu uh, stocks uh, they they are doing good they are doing good uh probably uh, we we might experience some shortage but uh, they are not imminent we have tried our best uh, under the circumstances it is not easy uh, it's not easy uh, to come at this point in time and uh, get some few of these uh, mahangu heads uh, so we we did our best uh, to try to maneuver the the weather. Uh, now we are just uh, harvesting, uh, cutting off the the, the heads. Uh, that, that's what we are doing. We are harvesting uh, mahangu to remove them out before uh, the winter season come and hit us hard. You know, when it comes. I don't think we are going to have time because it's going just to burn everything. That's what winter does. It just burn everything. Um, we do have something small here. We do have something. Uh, if you can see. Uh, yeah, uh, the moral of the video is just to say that um, uh, we don't only... A kind of like you know uh go to school study read and stuff like that but we we still also uh, burst it in a traditional means uh, we we cultivate we grow our foods we are hard working on the ground we don't only depend on book writing and reading and stuff like that, but we come as well on the ground, on the ground, and do the needful. Yes, um, just to send a message to everyone that you know agriculture is the new frontier or is the way forward for us to fight uh, poverty, to fight all these ills that are crippling our our, our country, our communities. So. Uh, as much as you are reading, as much as you want to live in town, but don't neglect and, and abandon your, your village. You don't abandon your land. Don't abandon home, community. You know, it is, it's very important. It's very important. As you see, uh, it feels uh, good and, and it makes you uh, relaxed when you are in the field and you have something. You know, backing you up. You, you know, uh, looking at food security is something that's picking up. It gives you that, that that cool and sense of belonging. You know, your your heart and everything uh, relax, feel at home, relax. You feel like an African, like a human being, and then you depending in a in a shop or so. I understand that. Um, we do have problem with the weather, with the climate change, but we must not give up. Uh, as they say, that uh, that is outside our control. We have to just try our best on things that that is in our control, on things that we know that we can uh, try our best uh, to to get the result. Uh, this is one of them for us to prepare our field, for us to cultivate. If the weather happened to be friendly, if it happened to be good, then we can we can, we can get something. 
because you know agriculture is about gambling it's not something that you have to predict it's about gambling here you win and the other day you lose but for you is just keep on playing the game keep on playing the game so that is uh, the message for today not that much thank you